because we have no clue what is going on within our own governmental system on the implications for the financial system and um, and now and as you talked with last week with uh, Catherine Austin Fitz who I, we've been working together on this um, in in the midst of all of the DOD hoopla with the audit um, Standard 56 was implemented by the government in which now we have two sets of books. Right? And just so you, everybody knows, there is FASB, F-A-S-B, the Financial Standards Accounting Board, and then what you're talking about, F-A-S-A-B, right? Yeah, F Federal Accounting Standards Advisory Board. That's it's a board that provides advice and input into how the government reports its... And um, you're talking about Rule 56. Yep, standard 56. Okay. okay. And right. so, right. you know, so before, you know, through all of this experience that we've had, at least we had the reporting laws in our favor. Government is supposed to have a level of transparency and honesty in reporting. There's, uh, a, you know, the black budget, which we can't know what's going on, uh, at least since the 1970s. But at least there was supposed to be a framework that we're operating under and they didn't always they didn't comply with it so it was non-transparent as we've shown with the 21 trillion in transactions that we can't verify right so but now as of october 4th just in time for the dod audit report we have effectively uh, put uh, two sets of books we have a set of books that can be um, manipulated and changed for by a by a group of people who determine that it's a national security issue, and they can alter the numbers, move things around within um, a, a particular ent entity, or even potentially shift funding all the way in order to hide it. And so we're gonna what we're gonna do is produce a financial statement that is fake, and we will have no idea how much money was moved around, and we're all gonna pretend that we have a real report. And then we have an actual report that will remain hidden, on, right? And, and you know, I, I try really hard on all these layers, you know, like the mark to market, you know, and the, um, you know, the change so that now firms can value assets at whatever they want, in whatever they think it'll be worth in the future. Right. This right. was done to save the, the financial institutions because they had all this, all these, you know, during the financial crisis, they had all these properties that were worth nothing. And so they're saying, well, we're just going to revise and change the rules. And so now we don't even have any idea really what the valuation of these firms are. And Greg, I went back to your uh, original CNN transcripts where you warned that this, that, that, you know, the financial system was going to blow and the housing market was going was going to crash. I, I could see that you were trying to tell people that this is really unstable. And at the very same time, we have uh, Ben Bernanke, who is the former, you know, chair of the Federal Reserve, saying, "You know what? We've got this contained. We're, we're, we're we should be fine. You know, everything's good." And Ben Bernanke was wrong, or he lied, right? I, yeah, he right. just didn't tell. He didn't tell the truth. You did, right? And so you, what happened to you? Well, CNN didn't renew your contract. Why? You. You were, you were trying to tell the truth and get to the bottom of things. The chairman of the Federal Reserve was saying something that just wasn't true. He had to have known that things were very unstable. And so he gets rewarded with a, a nice position at the Brookings Institute. He's the president of the American Economic Review. Uh, not, excuse me, American Economic Review, the American Economic Association. So that's sort of the elite of the elite among economists. And he's, um, he's rewarded for not telling the truth. Go to the Forbes article that was published last week by uh, Lawrence Kotlikoff and me and get a good summary of what that is. But basically, in this decision that was recommended and accepted um, by our government, um, this is what Showalter says. He says, the board concluded that finding a way to include most financial information correctly in public financial statements was better than not providing financial statements publicly. So basically, basically he's saying, if we didn't do this, we're not going to report anything at all. 